Okay, my name is Mr. Peterson and I'm a high school science teacher. I teach about the human body, we call that anatomy. I teach biology, which is the study of living things. And I teach an earth science class where we learn about the whole planet from the air to the water to the rocks and all that stuff. Most of the stuff you see in here is that earth science class. And one of the things I teach is about the history of life um, on our planet. So we'll talk about dinosaurs today and all kinds of different stuff. Mm -hmm. A really, really, really long time ago. Are you excited? Yeah. I am too. Do you have a question? Let's get started here. So, how many different kinds of animals do you think there are? Billions. Billions? Not that many. Trillions. How many do you think? Maybe over four million. Just Thousands. One million. one million. Okay. So you wouldn't think oh. there's more than that? One thousand. Yes. How one many thousand. do you think? A thousand's less than a million. A trillion. I know. That's not a number. <laughs> yeah, it is. My no, it's it not. Is. Actually, you were really close. So far. We've written down the names of over a hundred, one and a half million different animals. That's a lot. Should I name all of them? No. No, we'd be here until next week, probably. But there's a whole bunch. Are there animals, do you think, that we haven't discovered yet that we still got to write their name down? Yeah. Tons of them. Scientists find new ones every year. Do you think that all the animals today, all those one and a half million animals, do you think those are the only ones that have ever existed? Nope. No. No way! No way! There's a whole bunch of different animals that do not exist anymore uh, that used to. Yeah, that's one of them. So, then, do you think there are animals from the past that aren't around anymore? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dinosaurs. You betcha. So, what do you call an animal that no longer exists anywhere on Earth? What's that word? Extinct. Extinct. Yep. Boom, there you go. So here's an extinct animal. Do you know what that is? A mammoth. A woolly mammoth. mammoth. Yep. Where did those used to live? Canada. Mm -mm. Canada. Mm -mm. Well, yes, in Canada. They used to live here, where we are. What? Yeah. You can find mammoth bones in South Dakota. I'll show you where later. Bye. What's this? Stegosaurus. It's a stegosaurus, which is a type of dinosaur, right? Did you guys see my shirt? It's covered in different dinosaurs. And then I got my pterodactyl shirt on, too, because we're talking about extinct animals. What the heck is that? It's a giant fish. It's a fish. It's not a shark. It's a type of fish. It's called a dunkleosteus. And this type of fish... is a kind of fish. Yes, it is. But this is a type of fish called a placoderm, and there are none of them left anymore. Do you know what kind of animal a dinosaur is? Just blurt it out. An extinct? No. Nope. Do you know what kind it is? There's mammals, birds. What are dinosaurs? Lizard. I mean reptiles. Reptiles, yep. So there are still reptiles today. Crocodiles, turtles. Snakes. But not dinosaurs. Snakes. But dinosaurs are gone. Were from, the di from the dinosaur. Yes, they are. Yes, they were. So there are still fish today, but not this kind of fish. This is an animal that went extinct only about a hundred years ago. So animals, go, there are certain, some animals go extinct every single year, right? Extinct didn't just happen when the asteroid killed the dinosaurs. It happens all the time. This is, what, what does it look like? Uh, it's like a cheetah, but mixed with a zebra and a zebra. And, and it's um. No, I think, it, I was kind of. About a hyena. It looks yeah, like a. It looks like a canine, a dog, right? It almost looks like a coyote. It's not though. It's called a Tasmanian tiger. The other name for it was a thylacine, and it's a marsupial. What kind of animals are marsupials? Go ahead. Nope. Kangaroos are marsupials. They're the animals that have a what? Pouch. A pouch. That animal had a pouch. So even though it looks like a dog, it's more closely related to kangaroos, right? Oh my god. There are plants that are extinct. This is, uh, I actually forget what this one is called, but there are. They do. That's a good point. It's like a cactus and like a kind of a plant that just, its leaves stay on the ground, 
add mixed together. Mm -hmm. So it's a type of tree, but if you look at the bark, it looks like it has scales. And this kind of tree doesn't exist anymore. They're extinct. Aww. So how do we know that an animal that doesn't exist anymore used to exist? You find its skeleton. Mm-hmm. You, you can um, find their tracks. Yes, we, have, we find dinosaur footprints sometimes too. But the big thing is we find their fossils. So that's what that is right there. That's a fossil of, do you know what animal that is? Triceratops, very good. Do you know what a paleontologist is? No. Well, they study all extinct animals. They find and describe different fossils. There are many, many, many different animals that are extinct now that aren't dinosaurs. It's not just them, but they're the really popular ones because dinosaurs are cool, right? Yeah, I wonder if you guys dug, did you guys dig up the megalodon? Nope. But you guys are going to find some fossils today. That was in the sand. Maybe. So, what kind of animal do you think that is? Raptor. It kind of looks like a raptor. It's a reptile. It's a dinosaur for sure. I'm not sure which one. But a paleontologist, sometimes a paleontologist, actually most of the time, they only find like one, two, ten bones. It's kind of hard to know what animal you're looking at if you only find a couple of its bones, right? But paleontologists can usually just look at one bone and they can tell you what kind of animal it is. They're really, really good at their job. Uh, that's a fish. Yep, yep. So these are fossils. Like the fish that we looked at earlier. The fish aren't kind of like the dinosaurs. This is called ashfall, and it's in Nebraska. So these animals were buried by a volcanic eruption, and so their bodies are really perfectly preserved. That's what happens to humans if they can't escape. Sometimes. That animal right there is actually a rhinoceros. Rhinoceroses used to live in Nebraska, but they all went extinct. This, can you tell what that big one in the middle is? It's, this is in Hot Springs, South Dakota. This looks like mammoth. Well, like mammoth. There, it's a mammoth, yep. Yeah. It's a Colombian mammoth. There are different types of mammoths. But yeah, this is in, like I said, this is in Hot Springs. It's called the Mammoth Site. I've been there a whole bunch of times in my life because it's really cool. They have dug up, I think, over 50 different mammoths from this one little spot in South Dakota. So that's how we know they used to live there. These are, yep, so these are dinosaurs. That's an Allosaurus on the left, and a what is that on the right? We saw it earlier. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, yep. And this is in a museum in Colorado that I've been to. Okay, but what the heck is a fossil? It's a kind of like a skeleton or a bone of a creature. Yep, it's in the shape of the skeleton of a creature, but it's not the bone. So what is a fossil? After all the years, it kind of gets So it turns into something else. It's this solid. is a this is a big chunk of wood, but it's not very heavy. Go ahead and pass that around. Yeah, it's yeah. not heavy. So yeah. wood. Pass it to him real quick. Wood is actually mostly air, right? Um, if you look at it really closely, you can see it looks kind of spongy, so it doesn't weigh very much. This is petrified wood. This weighs a lot. Whoa. Pick it up. Be careful. So that's a lot heavier, even though it's smaller than that, right? Now, here, I'll take it. It doesn't matter the amount. It matters what But do you see how it looks exactly like wood? No. Yeah, it's really heavy. It doesn't have like it. If you look at the if you look at the texture of it, do you see how it looks like this wood? Now, this if you look at the top of it, you don't see all those holes, right? Yeah. This is mostly air. This is 100% what? Rock. Rocks. That's what a fossil is. It's the preserved remains of a once living thing. So something becomes a fossil by they they die, they get buried, usually in mud, and then parts of their body turn into stone. That's why when we get when we get fossils, it is a little creepy. That's why when we get fossils, they're almost always of bones. Because bones, this is a real human foot. I'm not kidding. It's an actual real human foot. And you can see part of it's broken 
Do you see how it's all spongy inside of there? So what happens is um, water that has lots of minerals and rocks in it gets into all these nooks and crannies and then hardens. It solidifies. We say it crystallizes and turns. You can touch that if you want. It's a real person's foot. And it turns into rocks. What's up? I'm going to show you guys some things and you're going to tell me if it's a fossil or not. Let's start with this. No. But it's hard. Yes. Yes. This is just a shell. So this, animals make hard parts. Like we have bones. Where's the foot at? Why don't you take right it? Right there. That's the foot. So I this, didn't touch it. This, I this is hard, right? But it's not rocks, right? And same with this giant shell. It's solid, but it isn't a stone yet. It could be one day, but right now it isn't. Let's look at this. No, no. Go ahead and hold it. Be careful with it, though. It's millions of years old. Fossil. Can I hold it up? He thinks it's a fossil? It's no. Years. Fossil. No. It, it, it's a fossil. Yes, it is. Pass it to the other guys. I think actually, yes. That is a fossil. Yeah. One thing that helps us out is it just kind of feels like a rock, and it's heavy, right? It's also... No. What is that thing? What did it used to be? Shell. Yep. Now, could anything get inside of that shell the way it is right now? Yeah. No. No, no. look at it. It's totally solid, right? So that's a clue that it's been turned into stone. How about this? Mm, yeah. 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 It's a starfish. Is it a fossil or is it just the skeleton of a starfish? Pass it around. Oh, Remember, it's really it's, it's really important to hold it, skeleton. see how heavy it is. Hey, make sure he gets to see that fossil. Yeah, it's a skeleton. It's a skeleton. So do you think it yeah, is gotta, is a fossil or is not? Not a fossil. Not. You're not correct. A fossil. Not a fossil. That one is not a fossil. They don't really so. have a lot of bones. Because you can kind of like, it wasn't that hard because on the bottom you could see like the little things. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Hello. How about... This. Go ahead and take it. Be careful with it. What is that? It's called a trilobite. So that trilobite yes. is a fossil. Yes! What do you think about this one? Yeah, that's cool. I can't. It is coral, but is it fossil coral or not? Um, it's How definitely is fossil it? coral. It's kind of heavy, so I think it's fossil. I didn't get that. I think it's just bone. It's not bone because corals don't have bones, but yeah. it's also not a fossil. A I have fossilized coral. We'll look at it later. We'll compare it to this. So remind me that we have to look at that later. Not a fossil. This does not look anything like a fossil here. That looks like yeah. fossil, fossil, fossil. That is a fossil. That's a fossil because look, yep. that kind of looks like that. Actually, everything else I have is a fossil. Here's a little minnow yeah, that's been fossilized. It. You can pass it around. Just be really careful. It's so important. You put it in a box. These are called orthocaris. That's another fossil. What? That kind of looks like a dinosaur toe. Thank you. That's fossils. Okay. okay. Now. Why are fossils important? Yes. So why do you think that fossils are important? So it's going to help us discover more dinosaurs or extinct things that were alive. Mm -hmm. I want to keep a fossil put in my room. Now, I already have a mango down too. The cool thing about fossils is fossils teach us about Earth's past in, in pretty unique ways, actually. Do you think paleontologists find fossils in places that don't make any sense? Yeah. 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 Yes. All the like, time, right? Like in South Dakota, I bet he was probably, the mammoth probably lived in like the Ice Age or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then, South Dakota, millions of years ago, it might have actually been covered in ice. It was. So, there aren't any elephants or mammoths alive today. So, when people started to find the first fossils of mammoths in South Dakota, people went, what? There's elephants that used to live here? So, that, that taught us that the world was different. So, look at that thing. It looks like a giant turtle. It is a giant turtle. Do you think it's a land turtle? Do you think it's a land turtle or a sea turtle? Sea turtle. Mm -hmm. Land. 
it's a sea turtle. If you look at his arms, do you see how his fingers are really long and yeah. his hands are really broad? Yeah. That makes for a good so flipper. Yep, flippers. paddles. That, that, yeah, well, one of his feet's missing, but that's okay. This turtle was found in Pierre, South Dakota, which means that South Dakota used to be underwater. So when the dinosaurs were around, that's what North the United States used to look like. There was a seaway that cut our country in half. Coral, Maybe this is coral. So the funny thing about coral is we find fossilized coral here. You guys know where this is? The Grand Canyon. Yep. That white layer on the top is called limestone, and it's a mile above sea level. But we find corals there. So did the oceans used to be a mile up higher than they are today? Yeah. Nope. There isn't enough water for that to be possible. What? Instead, what happened? is that part of the world used to be down below sea level. Oh, then wow. when mountains started to be built, it lifted up the whole area. The whole part of the United States got lifted up a mile above sea level today. That's why those fossils are in a weird place. So that teaches us about Earth's history. Parts that are land used to be water. Parts that are water used to be land and a whole bunch of other different combinations. Right, places that are hot may, might have been cold. Yep, and the other way around. How old do you think the oldest fossil is? Uh, zillions of years ago. Zillions, not a number. Billion? Hundreds. You mean Just hundreds of years? Not millions. Yeah. Millions of years? Like property. 5,000 millions of years. True. No, not trillions. The whole Earth isn't even that old. But the oldest fossil is over three and a half billion years old. Uh, that's 50 times older than the dinosaurs. And we think that they went extinct a really long time ago, but there are fossils of animals way, way before that. This right here, this fossil, it's called a stromatolite. It's not an animal. Instead, do you see all these layers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those layers are built up one at a time by bacteria basically they just deposit little minerals and stuff and so they pile up this is about a billion years old now Whoa. none of us know how long a billion years is right because it's just too big of a number yeah. but let's do let's do seconds let's pick that instead because a second is this long ready there done so let's say let's do this let's say that you guys get grounded for a hundred seconds how long are you grounded for? One, two. No, just guess. Okay, How long? Seconds. One minute and 40 seconds. No. That's exactly right, actually. So if you're grounded for 100 seconds, you're grounded for less than two minutes. So you must not have done anything very bad, right? But what if you got grounded for 1,000 seconds? How long are you grounded for? Oh, oh. About That's, uh, 10, a half of a day. No. It's yeah. only... 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Not very long, less than 20 minutes. So you didn't do anything very bad again. But what if you got grounded for a million seconds? Oh, over a, a day. More than a day. What? That's two days, almost two days. Hours? More than two days. Three days. Four days. More than four days. Six days. A week. More a week. than a week. Six months. Months. Nope, not that long. 11 and a half days. So you did something really bad if you're grounded for 11 or for yeah, 1 million for seconds. Year, you did something like... Super bad. Now, right. ready? We're working our way up here. How long would you be grounded for if you were grounded for a billion seconds? A year. 20 days. Two weeks. Way more than that. 20 seconds. Months. 20 Three years. weeks. Two more months. than that. Two months. months. More than 20 years. You'd be grounded for 31 years. What? I'm, I'm not even 20. I'll be 28 years old in May. So if I would have been grounded for a billion seconds when I was a kid, I would still be grounded. And I'm an adult. I live by myself now. You'd have to do something really bad. Really do most of the really old fossils look like the plants and animals alive today? They may Some. be similar. Some of them are sim similar. Like Some of them aren't. Actually, yeah, I forgot to mention, that is actually a primate, one of the oldest uh, 
uh, monkey fossils that we've ever found. So for the most part, no. Animals from a really long time ago look vastly different from animals today. And I have a whole bunch of examples to show you, and then we're going to move on and look for fossils. So this, this thing right here, it looks like a leaf, but it's an animal. It's one of the oldest animals ever found, and it's, it's more than half a billion years old. No, nope, it's not a fish. The kind of animal that this is doesn't exist anymore because it doesn't have a head or eyes or a tail or legs or anything like that. It just kind of is like a blob of is stuff. It's not a fish. It didn't have bones. Is that because it was all fish don't have bones? Is that because it was like it was so old that that the the part fossil of its head and legs and no, it's before there were no animals that long ago that even had heads or legs or anything like that. So we're gonna look at a whole bunch of really quick examples so we can get this done. This is the oldest fish we've ever found. It's called Pikaya, and it's over half a billion years old. Too. You can see it kind of looks like a fish, but not like fish that are alive today. It looks like a very long snail. Look at these things. These are called um, agnatha, and they are jawless fish. So they have mouths, but they can't open and close their mouths. They just go through the water with their mouth open all the time. And they're really weird looking. Do you see how they have armor plating? They like ha it there really aren't any armor plated fish alive anymore today. This is anomacaris. I'm sorry, anomalacaris. It's a crustacean, so or it's actually an arthropod. So Which one? An arthropod, the second one. Arthropods are animals that have an exoskeleton. Insects, bugs, spiders, and crabs are all arthropods. But this one existed on Earth before any of them existed. And there's nothing alive today that really looks like that. That's a yeah, weird looking animal. It's like a giant squid. A little bit, but squids don't have bones. And this guy, his whole his whole outer body was hard like a shell. Like, yeah. one of those insects? This is a That's weird cool. kind of animal. This looks like a cross between two different animals. Do you know what it is? Like a kind of like a rainbow trout. So it looks like a fish, but it also has some of the characteristics of a lizard. A reptile. Yep, or an amphibian, actually. So it's called a, well, the name doesn't really matter. But this is an animal that lived some of the time in the water but could maybe come up on land some of the time, too. It's what we call a missing link or a transitional species. Life evolved from the water and then has progressed onto land as well. Like frogs. Yep, kind of like frogs. So, so the bones of animals teach us that all living things on Earth are related in some way. If you look at the arm bones of any animal, and these are really, they're all mammals, but they're very different animals. We all have, the first part of your arm, there's just one bone there called your humerus. So that's that brown bone. And then below that, you have two bones called your radius and your ulna. Do you see how every one, actually one of those is a bird, not a mammal. Do you see how every animal still has two bones in the second part? And then we have our wrist bones, those short ones, all animals have that. And then our finger bones. A bat's wing is really just super duper long fingers with skin in between them. So we all have the same bones, they're just shaped in different ways. So these are some of the earliest amphibians. You can notice one of them looks like a crocodile. None of these kinds of amphibians um, are alive today anymore, but we have the fossils of extinct ones. Some of the earliest reptiles were extremely weird looking. That one right there is like an armadillo mixed with a crocodile, but it's, but it's neither of those animals. Well, these ones aren't lizards. They're different types of reptiles. Look at this ugly thing. It's called a steminosuchus, and it lived, it lived 267 million years ago. It's not quite a reptile, and it's not quite a mammal. It's sort of in between. It's a really weird animal. Ah. This is a really famous animal called Dimetrodon. Now you guys probably think it's a dinosaur, nope. but it's nope. not. Actually, do you see this pterodactyl? Pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs either. What? What? Yep, dinosaur. It's very specific. So dinosaurs were the rept were reptiles that walked on land. If it swam in the ocean like a Loch Ness monster-looking animal, or if it flew. It was not a dinosaur. 
The reason this one's not a dinosaur is because it's too old. 280 million years ago, that's before dinosaurs ever existed. Speaking of, yes, they did. They're one of the oldest animals. Speaking of pterosaurs, look at all the crazy headgear that these guys have. Just take a close look at all the crests and, and whatever that they got. Aren't those weird? Now, these animals flew, so their bodies had to be lightweight for them to fly. But do you know how big the biggest flying reptile was? About the size of about the size of a classroom? Close. Bigger? Well, not quite bigger, but it was called Quetzalcoatlus, it and it was it was giraffe. bigger than a giraffe. No, it's taller. Bigger it's than taller. a giraffe, oh, yeah, okay. but it could still fly. Not weird. We have yeah. their bones, though. They hang them up in museums. It has a little between its legs. It's weird. It's a weird animal. Yeah. So now we're going to look at a bunch of different kinds of dinosaurs. Wow. There, there are the stegosaurids. And there were lots of different kinds of them. Some had all, yep, some had all spines. Some had plates. There's a fancy name for the tail spike, and it's called a thagomizer. Whoa. You'll probably forget that, but that's what it's called. There were the, uh, we call them sauropods, like titanosaurs. These were the biggest animals that ever walked on land. That's how big the tallest ones were, the brachiosaurus right there. Look at how much bigger than a giraffe it is. Yeah, Isn't that crazy? The now, that's the tallest dinosaur, but the longest dinosaur was, uh, I think, Diplodocus. And they're about 110 feet long. So that's this room from one end to the other is 25 feet long. So we'd have to, or I'm sorry, it's 30 feet long. So we'd have to stack three of these rooms in a row, actually three and a half of them, before we'd have the length of that animal. That's a big animal. These are, they're called hadrosaurs. There's Parasaurolophus, Corythosaurus, Tinamosaurus, I think is how you say that. The one on the bottom left, that's Iguanodon. That was the first ever dinosaur to be given a name. We had their bones, but we didn't give names to them. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Anyways, these are what are called ceratopsids, which a, a, a triceratops is a ceratopsid. But look at how many different kinds there are. So there's lots and lots and lots of different dinosaurs. We only... Like, movies and books only talk about a couple of them. There These was, are the theropods. Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus, uh, Velociraptor, rex. and Carnotaurus on the far left. Now, okay. do you guys know... Velociraptors, some, some of them used to have feathers? All of them did. Actually, we're, we're pretty sure a lot of T-Rexes had feathers, too. It's pretty, uh, it's a new discovery. The first time we ever found that out was in the 1990s. So it was 20 years ago about. Um, but yeah, the theropod dinosaurs, almost all, of, or not almost all of them, but a lot of them had feathers. All of the raptors had feathers. Utah raptor, Deco they, we just discovered a new raptor last year in South Dakota and they named it Dakota raptor. Oviraptor, Velociraptor, Deinonychus, all had feathers. Um, these are the pachycephalosaurids, so like they had a big dome skull on top of them. Yeah. Here are the armored ones. There's a couple different types. Um, Nodosaurus is the one on bottom, and Kylosaurus is that one. And then uh, Euoplocephalus. It looks like it has a giant rock at the end. It's kind of like that, but it's made of bone. Now, those are dinosaurs. These are the early mammals, right? Now, they're, some of them look kind of like animals alive today but they're all extinct, right? You can see the woolly rhino in the middle at the top has that huge, huge horn. You can see the one on the top right has two gigantic horns. It kind of looks like a rhinoceros, but it has two. It's related to rhinos. Look at how big that one is. That's how much bigger it was than elephants. Elephants today are the largest land animals, but those mammals were way bigger. And then that one on the bottom left is called a brontotherium. It does. It looks like a it looks like a gorilla and a horse mixed together to me. It's called a calicothere. It's a mammal. They're extinct, but we find their fossils. So we know these weird, 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 weird looking animals. They were plant eaters, but they had really big claws, right? Now this is called Homo naledi, and it was found a few years ago in Africa, and it kind of looks like a person, but it's not. But it's part of the same group of animals that humans belong to. So Humans are called Homo mammals. sapiens, right? Um, yep, we're mammals. We're also primates. Um, 
and we call ourselves Homo sapiens. This is Homo naledi. So there are also Neanderthals. You've probably heard of them too. They weren't exactly like us, but they were very closely related to us. They're extinct now, but we find, nope. Well, it had a tail, but we have tail bones, but they're really, really small. It didn't have a tail, but we find um, their bones and actually all kinds of them. So if you look at the skulls, this one looks like a modern person's skull because it is. This one kind of does too. It's a little bit different, but if we look at these, they all change a little tiny bit as you go back further and further and further. But then when you get all, all the way back, here. that looks totally different, right? Yeah, it's compared to this. Glowing. But if you just start here and you go across, you go, okay, it doesn't change by all that much as you go across. But then when we get to there, D and it's F totally changed. And yeah, I kind of I see blue inside a little bit. Some of that. I see blue inside some of that. Yeah, that's uh, that's just from the computer oh. piecing it all together. Doesn't the A kind of look like King Kong's a little bit. father's skull? A little bit. So that is the end of this. So we're going to look for fossils now.